Filipinos Filipino, MGA Pilipino, are the people who are native to, or identified with the country of the Philippines. Filipinos come from various ethnolinguistic groups that are native to the island country. Currently, there are more than 175 ethnolinguistic groups, each with its own language, identity, culture and history. The modern Filipino identity, with its Austronesian roots, was developed in conjunction with Spanish, Chinese and American influences. The Philippines was a Spanish colony for 333 years, setting a foundation for contemporary Filipino culture. Under Spanish rule, most of the Filipino populace embraced Roman Catholicism, yet revolted many times against its hierarchy. Names The name Filipino was derived from the term, Las Islas Filipinas, the Philippine Islands. The name given to the archipelago in 1543 by the Spanish explorer and Dominican priest Rui López de Villalobos, in honor of Philip II of Spain, Spanish, Felipe II. The lack of the letter F in the pre-1987 Tagalog alphabet, avocada, caused the letter P to be substituted for F. Though the alphabets and or writing scripts of some non-Tagalog ethnic groups included the letter F. Upon official adoption of the modern, 28-letter Filipino alphabet in 1987, the term Filipino was preferred over Pilipino. Locally, some still use Pilipino to refer to the people and Filipino to refer to the language, but in international use, Filipino is the usual form for both. Use of the term Filipino in the Philippines started during the Spanish colonial period. The original meaning was, a person of Spanish descent born in the Philippines. A person of Austronesian ancestry and not of Spanish descent was called an Indio. This original usage is now old-fashioned and obsolete. Historian Ambeth Ocampo has suggested that the first documented use of the word to refer to Indios was the Spanish-language poem A la Juventud Filipina, published in 1879 by José Rizal. A number of Filipinos refer to themselves colloquially as Pinoy, feminine, Pinay, which is a slang word formed by taking the last four letters of Filipino and adding the diminutive suffix Y. Other collective endonyms for the Filipino people include Patria Adorada, Spanish for Beloved Fatherland, as popularized by Jose Rizal through his poem, Mi Ultimo Adios, Bayang Pilipino, Tagalog, Filipino Nation, or the more poetic, Sambayanang Pilipino, a formal term in Tagalog meaning, one entire Filipino nation. History Prehistory In 2010, a metatarsal from Callow Man, discovered in 2007, was dated through uranium series dating as being 67,000 years old. Prior to that, the earliest human remains found in the Philippines were thought to be the fossilized fragments of a skull and jawbone, discovered in the 1960s by Dr. Robert B. Fox, an anthropologist from the National Museum. Anthropologists who examined these remains agreed that they belonged to modern human beings. These include the Homo sapiens, as distinguished from the mid-Pleistocene Homo erectus species. The Taban Man Fossils are considered to have come from a third group of inhabitants, who worked the cave between 22,000 and 20,000 BCE. An earlier cave level lies so far below the level containing cooking fire assemblages that it must represent upper Pleistocene dates like 45 or 50,000 years ago. Researchers say this indicates that the human remains were pre-Mongoloid, from about 40,000 years ago. Mongoloid is the term which anthropologists applied to the ethnic group which migrated to Southeast Asia during the Holocene period and evolved into the Austronesian people, associated with the haplogroup O1, Y-DNA, genetic marker, a group of Malayo-Polynesian-speaking people including those from Indonesia, the Philippines, Malaysia, Malagasy, the non-Chinese Taiwan aboriginals are rays, fluctuations in ancient shorelines between 150,000 BC and 17,000 BC connected the Malay archipelago region with maritime Southeast Asia and the Philippines. 
This may have enabled ancient migrations into the Philippines from maritime Southeast Asia approximately 50,000 BC to 13,000 BC. A January 2009 study of language phylogenies by R. D. Gray at the University of California, Los Angeles, published in the journal Science, suggests that the population expansion of Austronesian peoples was triggered by rising sea levels of the Sunda Shelf at the end of the last ice age. This was a two-pronged expansion, which moved north through the Philippines and into Taiwan, while a second expansion prong spread east along the New Guinea coast and into Oceania and Polynesia. The Negritos are likely descendants of the indigenous populations of the Sunda landmass and New Guinea, pre-dating the Mongoloid peoples who later entered Southeast Asia. Multiple studies also show that Negritos from Southeast Asia to New Guinea share a closer cranial affinity with Australo-Melanesians. They were the ancestors of such tribes of the Philippines as the Aeta, Agta, Ada, Ati, Dumagat and other similar groups. Today they comprise just 0.03% of the total Philippine population. The majority of present-day Filipinos are a product of the long process of evolution and movement of people. After the mass migrations through land bridges, migrations continued by boat during the maritime era of Southeast Asia. The ancient races became homogenized into the Malayo-Polynesians which colonized the majority of the Philippine, Malaysian and Indonesian archipelagos. Archaic epic to 1565 Since at least the 3rd century, various ethnic groups established several communities. These were formed by the assimilation of various native Philippine kingdoms. South Asian and East Asian people together with the people of the Indonesian archipelago and the Malay Peninsula, traded with Filipinos and introduced Hinduism and Buddhism to the native tribes of the Philippines. Most of these people stayed in the Philippines where they were slowly absorbed into local societies. Many of the barangay tribal municipalities were, to a varying extent, under the de jure jurisprudence of one of several neighboring empires, among them the Malay Srivijaya, Javanese Majapahit, Brunei, Malacca, Indian Chola, Champa and Khmer empires, although de facto had established their own independent system of rule. Trading links with Sumatra, Borneo, Java, Cambodia, Malay Peninsula, Indochina, China, Japan, India and Arabia. A thalassocracy had thus emerged based on international trade. Even scattered barangays, through the development of inter-island and international trade, became more culturally homogeneous by the 4th century. Hindu-Buddhist culture and religion flourished among the noblemen in this era. In the period between the 7th to the beginning of the 15th centuries, numerous prosperous centers of trade had emerged, including the Kingdom of Namayan which flourished alongside Manila Bay, Cebu, Iloilo, Butuan, the Kingdom of Sanfatsi situated in Pangasinan, the Kingdom of Luzon now known as Pampanga which specialized in trade with most of what is now known as Southeast Asia, and with China, Japan and the Kingdom of Ryukyu in Okinawa. From the 9th century onwards, a large number of Arab traders from the Middle East settled in the Malay archipelago and intermarried with the local Malay, Bruneian, Malaysian, Indonesian, and Luzon and Visayas indigenous populations. In the years leading up to 1000 AD, there were already several maritime societies existing in the islands, but there was no unifying political state encompassing the entire Philippine archipelago. Instead, the region was dotted by numerous semi-autonomous barangays settlements ranging in size from villages to city-states under the sovereignty of competing thalassocracies ruled by datus, rajas or sultans or by upland agricultural societies ruled by petty plutocrats. States such as the Wangdams of Ma'ai and Pangasinan, Kingdom of Manila, Namayan, the Kingdom of Tondo, the Kadatuan of Madya as, the Rajanates of Butuan and Cebu and the Sultanates of Maguindano, Lanao and Sulu existed alongside the highland societies of the Afugao and Mangyan. Some of these regions were part of the Malayan empires of Srivijaya, Majapahit and Brunei. Historic caste systems Magino, the Tagalog Magino, the Kapampangan Jinu, and the Visayan Tumau were the nobility social class among various cultures of the pre-colonial Philippines. Among the Visayans, the Tumau were further distinguished from the immediate royal families, the Kadachuan or a ruling class. Maharlika, members of the Tagalog warrior class known as Maharlika had the same rights and responsibilities as the Timawa, but in times of war they were bound to serve their Datu in battle. 
They had to arm themselves at their own expense, but they did get to keep the loot they won, or stole, depending on which side of the transaction you want to look at. Although they were partly related to the nobility, the Maharlikas were technically less free than the Timawas because they could not leave a Datu's service without first hosting a large public feast and paying the Datu between 6 and 18 pesos in gold, a large sum in those days. Timawa, the Timawa class were free commoners of Luzon and the Visayas who could own their own land and who did not have to pay a regular tribute to Imagino, though they would, from time to time, be obliged to work on a Datu's land and help in community projects and events. They were free to change their allegiance to another Datu if they married into another community or if they decided to move. Alipan, today, the word Alipan, or Oripun in the Visayas, means slave and that's how the Spaniards translated it, too, but the Alipans were not really slaves in the western sense of the word. They were not bought and sold in markets with chains around their necks. A better description would be to call them debtors. They could be born Alipans, inheriting their parents' debt, and their obligations could be transferred from one master to another. However, it was also possible for them to buy their own freedom. A person in extreme poverty might even want to become an Alipan voluntarily preferably to relatives who saw this as a form of assistance rather than punishment. By the 15th century, Arab and Indian missionaries and traders from Malaysia and Indonesia brought Islam to the Philippines, where it both replaced and was practiced together with indigenous religions. Before that, indigenous tribes of the Philippines practiced a mixture of animism, Hinduism and Buddhism. Native villages, called barangays were populated by locals called Timawa, middle-class, freemen, and Alipan, servants and slaves. They were ruled by rajas, datus and sultans, a class called Magino, royals, and defended by the Maharlika, lesser nobles, royal warriors and aristocrats. These royals and nobles are descended from native Filipinos with varying degrees of Indo-Aryan and Dravidian, which is evident in today's DNA analysis among Southeast Asian royals. This tradition continued among the Spanish and Portuguese traders who also intermarried with the local populations. Hispanic settlement and rule 1521 to 1898, the Philippines were settled by the Spanish. The arrival of Portuguese explorer Ferdinand Magellan, Portuguese, for now de Magalhães, in 1521 began a period of European colonization. During the period of Spanish colonialism the Philippines was part of the Viceroyalty of New Spain, which was governed and controlled from Mexico City. Early Spanish settlers were mostly explorers, soldiers, government officials and religious missionaries born in Spain and Mexico. Most Spaniards who settled were of Andalusian ancestry but there were also Catalan, Moorish and Basque settlers. The Peninsulares, governors born in Spain, mostly of Castilian ancestry, settled in the islands to govern their territory. Most settlers married the daughters of rajas, datus and sultans to reinforce the colonization of the islands. The Jinu and Maharlika castes, royals and nobles, in the Philippines prior to the arrival of the Spanish formed the privileged principalia, nobility, during the Spanish period. In the 16th and 17th centuries, thousands of Japanese traders also migrated to the Philippines and assimilated into the local population. As a part of the Seven Years' War, British forces occupied Manila between 1762 and 1764. However, the only part of the Philippines which the British held was the Spanish colonial capital of Manila and the principal naval port of Cavite, both of which are located on Manila Bay. The war was ended by the Treaty of Paris, 1763. At the end of the war the treaty signatories were not aware that Manila had been taken by the British and was being administered as a British colony. Consequently, no specific provision was made for the Philippines. Instead they fell under the general provision that all other lands not otherwise provided for be returned to the Spanish Empire. Many Indian sepoy troops and their British captains mutinied and were left in Manila and some parts of the Ilocos and Cagayan. The ones in Manila settled at Cainta, Rizal and the ones in the north settled in Isabela. Most were assimilated into the local population. The arrival of the Spaniards to the Philippines attracted new waves of immigrants from China, and maritime trade flourished during the Spanish period. The Spanish recruited thousands of Chinese migrant workers called Sanglis to build the colonial infrastructure in the islands. Many Chinese immigrants converted to Christianity, intermarried with the locals, and adopted Hispanized names and customs and became assimilated, although the children of unions between Filipinos and Chinese that became assimilated continued to be designated in official records as mestizos de sangre. 
The Chinese mestizos were largely confined to the Binondo area until the 19th century. However, they eventually spread all over the islands, and became traders, landowners, and moneylenders. A total of 110 Manila Acapulco galleons set sail between 1565 and 1815, during the Philippines' trade with Mexico. Until 1593, three or more ships would set sail annually from each port bringing with them the riches of the archipelago to Spain. European Criollos, Mestizos and Portuguese, French and Mexican descent from the Americas, mostly from Latin America came in contact with the Filipinos. Japanese, Indian and Cambodian Christians who fled from religious persecutions and killing fields also settled in the Philippines during the 17th until the 19th centuries. With the inauguration of the Suez Canal in 1867, Spain opened the Philippines for international trade. European investors such as British, Dutch, German, Portuguese, Russian, Italian and French were among those who settled in the islands as business increased. More Spaniards arrived during the next century. Many of these European migrants intermarried with local mestizos and assimilated with the indigenous population. Late Modern after the defeat of Spain during the Spanish-American War in 1898, Filipino General, Emilio Aguinaldo declared independence on 12 June while General Wesley Merritt became the first American governor of the Philippines. On 10 December 1898, the Treaty of Paris formally ended the war, with Spain ceding the Philippines and other colonies to the United States in exchange for $20 million. After the Philippine-American War, the United States civil governance was established in 1901, with William Howard Taft as the first American governor-general. A number of Americans settled in the islands and thousands of interracial marriages between Americans and Filipinos have taken place since then. Due to the strategic location of the Philippines, as many as 21 bases and 100,000 military personnel were stationed there since the United States first colonized the islands in 1898. These bases were decommissioned in 1992 after the end of the Cold War, but left behind thousands of Amerasian children. The country gained independence from the United States in 1946. The Pearl S. Buck International Foundation estimates there are 52,000 Amerasians scattered throughout the Philippines. In addition, numerous Filipino men enlisted in the U.S. Navy and made careers in it, often settling with their families in the United States. Some of their second or third generation families returned to the country. Following its independence, the Philippines has seen both small and large scale immigration into the country, mostly involving American, European, Chinese, and Japanese peoples. After World War II, South Asians continued to migrate into the islands, most of which assimilated and avoided the local social stigma instilled by the early Spaniards against them by keeping a low profile and or by trying to pass as Spanish mestizos. This was also true for the Arab and Chinese immigrants, many of whom are also post-World War II arrivals. More recent migrations into the country by Koreans, Persians, Brazilians, and other Southeast Asians have contributed to the enrichment of the country's ethnic landscape, language and culture. Centuries of migration, diaspora, assimilation, and cultural diversity made most Filipinos accepting of interracial marriage and multiculturalism. Philippine nationality law is currently based upon the principle of jus sanguinis and, therefore, descent from a parent who is a citizen of the Republic of the Philippines is the primary method of acquiring national citizenship. Birth in the Philippines to foreign parents does not in itself confer Philippine citizenship, although RA 9139, the Administrative Naturalization Law of 2000, does provide a path for administrative naturalization of certain aliens born in the Philippines. Filipinos of mixed ethnic origins are still referred to today as mestizos. However, in common parlance, mestizos are only used to refer to Filipinos mixed with Spanish or any other European ancestry. Filipinos mixed with any other foreign ethnicities are named depending on the non-Filipino part. Hispanized caste system the history of racial mixture in the Philippines occurred on a smaller scale than other Spanish territories in the Latin America during the Spanish colonial period from the 16th to the 19th century. A caste system, like that used in the Americas, Spanish America, existed in the Philippines, with some major differences. The indigenous peoples of the Philippines were referred to as Indios and Negritos. 
people classified as Blancos. Whites were the Insulares or Filipinos. A person born in the Philippines of pure Spanish descent, Peninsulares, a person born in Spain of pure Spanish descent, Espanol Mestizas, a person born in the Philippines of mixed Austronesian and Spanish ancestry, and Tornatras, a person born in the Philippines of mixed Austronesian, Chinese and Spanish ancestry. Manila was racially segregated, with Blancos living in the walled city of Intramuros, unchristianized Sanglis in Parian, Christianized Sanglis and Mestizas de Sangli in Binondo, and the rest of the 7,000 islands for the Indios, with the exception of Cebu and several other Spanish posts. Only Mestizas de Sangli were allowed to enter Intramuros to work for whites, including Mestizas de Espanol, as servants and various occupations needed for the colony. India were native Austronesians, but as a legal classification, India were those who embraced Roman Catholicism and Austronesians who lived in proximity to the Spanish colonies. People who lived outside Manila, Cebu and the major Spanish posts were classified as such. Naturals were Catholic Austronesians of the lowland and coastal towns. The un-Catholic Negritos and Austronesians who lived in the towns were classified as salvajes. Savages, or infieles, the unfaithful. Remontados, Spanish for situated in the mountains, and Talisans, bandits, were indigenous Austronesians and Negritos who refused to live in towns and took to the hills, all of whom were considered to live outside the social order as Catholicism was a driving force in Spanish colonials' everyday life, as well as determining social class in the colony. People of pure Spanish descent living in the Philippines who were born in Spanish America were classified as Americanos. Mestizos and Africanos born in Spanish America living in the Philippines kept their legal classification as such, and usually came as indentured servants to the Americanos. The Philippine-born children of Americanos were classified as INS. The Philippine-born children of Mestizos and Africanos from Spanish America were classified based on patrilineal descent. The term Negrito was coined by the Spaniards based on their appearance. The word Negrito would be misinterpreted and used by future European scholars as an ethnoracial term in and of itself. Both Christianized Negritos who lived in the colony and unchristianized Negritos who lived in tribes outside the colony were classified as Negritos. Christianized Negritos who lived in Manila were not allowed to enter Intramuros and lived in areas designated for Indios. A person of mixed Negrito and Austronesian ancestry were classified based on patrilineal descent. The father's ancestry determined a child's legal classification. If the father was Negrito and the mother was India, Austronesian, the child was classified as Negrito. If the father was Indio and the mother was Negrita, the child was classified as Indio. Persons of Negrito descent were viewed as being outside the social order as they usually lived in tribes outside the colony and resisted conversion to Christianity. This legal system of racial classification based on patrilineal descent had no parallel anywhere in the Spanish ruled colonies in the Americas. In general, a son born of a Sangli male and an Indio or Mestizo de Sangli female was classified as Mestizo de Sangli. All subsequent male descendants were Mestizas de Sangli regardless of whether they married in India or a Mestiza de Sangli. A daughter born in such a manner, however, acquired the legal classification of her husband, i.e., she became an India if she married an Indio but remained a Mestiza de Sangli if she married a Mestizo de Sangli or a Sangli. In this way, a Chino mestizo male descendant of a paternal Sangli ancestor never lost his legal status as a mestizo de Sangli no matter how little percentage of Chinese blood he had in his veins or how many generations had passed since his first Chinese ancestor, he was thus a mestizo de Sangli in perpetuity. However, a mestiza de Sangli, who married a Blanco, Filipino, mestizo de Espanol, Peninsular, or Americano, kept her status as Mestiza de Sangli, but her children were classified as Tornatras, an India, 
who married a Blanco also kept her status as India, but her children were classified as Mestizo de Español. A Mestiza de Español who married another Blanco would keep her status as Mestiza, but her status will never change from Mestiza de Español if she married a Mestizo de Español, Filipino, or Peninsular. On the contrast, a Mestizo, de Sangli or Español, man S status stayed the same regardless of whom he married. If a mestizo, de sangli or español, married a Filipina, woman of pure Spanish descent, she would lose her status as a Filipina and would acquire the legal status of her husband and become a mestiza de español or sangli. If a Filipina married in Indio, her legal status would change to India, despite being of pure Spanish descent. The social stratification system based on class that continues to this day in the Philippines has its beginnings in the Spanish colonial area with this caste system. The Spanish colonizers reserved the term Filipino to refer to Spaniards born in the Philippines. The use of the term was later extended to include Spanish and Chinese mestizos, or those born of mixed Chinese Indio or Spanish Indio descent. Late in the 19th century, José Rizal popularized the use of the term Filipino to refer to all those born in the Philippines, including the Indios. When ordered to sign the notification of his death sentence, which described him as a Chinese mestizo, Rizal refused. He went to his death saying that he was Indio Puro. The Spanish caste system based on race was abolished after the Philippines. Independence from Spain in 1898, and the word Filipino expanded to include the entire population of the Philippines regardless of racial ancestry. Origins and genetic studies The majority of Filipinos are Austronesians, a linguistic and genetic group whose historical lies in maritime Southeast Asia, but through ancient migrations can be found as indigenous peoples stretching as far east as the Pacific Islands and as far west as Madagascar off the coast of Africa. The current predominant theory on Austronesian expansion holds that Austronesians settled the Philippine Islands through successive southward and eastward seaborne migrations from the Neolithic Austronesian populations of Taiwan. Other hypotheses have also been put forward based on linguistic, archaeological, and genetic studies. These include an origin from mainland South China, linking them to the Liangzhu culture and the Tepengkang culture, later displaced or assimilated by the expansion of Sino-Tibetan peoples, and in situ origin from the Sundaland continental shelf prior to the sea level rise at the end of the last glacial period, c. 10,000 BC, or a combination of the two, the New Santau Maritime Trading and Communication Network hypothesis, which advocates cultural diffusion rather than a series of linear migrations, the most frequently occurring why DNA haplogroups among modern Filipinos are haplogroup O1AM119, which has been found with maximal frequency among the indigenous peoples of Nias, the Muntawai Islands, and Taiwan, and haplogroup O2M122, which is found with high frequency in many populations of East Asia, Southeast Asia, and Polynesia. In particular, the type of O2M122 that is found frequently in Filipinos, OP164, XM134, is also found frequently in other Austronesian populations. Haplogroup O1M119 is also commonly found among Filipinos and is shared with other Austronesian-speaking populations, especially those in Taiwan, Western Indonesia, and Madagascar. After the 16th century, the colonial period saw the influx of genetic influence from other populations. This is evidenced by the presence of the Y-DNA haplogroup R1b which is present among the population of the Philippines. However, DNA studies vary. A year 2001 study conducted by Stanford University Asia Pacific Research Center stated that 3.6% of the Philippine population had European Y-DNA. However, only 28 individuals from the isolated rural island of Palawan were genotyped for this study, a sample size far below the minimum sample size needed to account for credible test results in a population of over 100 million individuals. According to another genetic study done by the University of California, San Francisco, they discovered that a modest amount of European genetic ancestry was found among some respondents who self-identified as Filipinos. A 2015, Y-DNA compilation by the genetic company Applied Biosystems 
Using samples taken from all over the Philippines, resulted in a 13.33% frequency of the European, Spanish Y-DNA-R1B. Also, according to a massive DNA study conducted by the National Geographic. S. The Genographic Project, based on genetic testings of 80,000 Filipino people by the National Geographic in 2008-2009, they found that the average Filipino's genes are around 53% Southeast Asia and Oceania, 36% East Asian, 5% Southern European, 3% South Asian and 2% Native American percentages. The Stanford study says that 3.6% that is 1 out of 28 have shown to have European paternal markers. That is, the Y chromosome passed by the males to their male offsprings, descendants, aka unbroken male lineage. The European ancestry was actually more of a side note as the study was geared towards interbreeding between Homo erectus and Homo sapiens. Furthermore, the Stanford study was conducted on an isolated portion of the Philippines barely touched by Spanish colonization. Had the study been conducted in the more densely populated areas of the north, there would have been more European ancestry detected due to the location being the center of European and Latin American settlements during the colonial period. Dental morphology provides clues to prehistoric migration patterns of the Philippines, with cynodont dental patterns occurring in East Asia, Central Asia, North Asia, and the Americas. Sundadont patterns occur in mainland and maritime Southeast Asia as well as Oceania. Filipinos exhibit sundadonti, and are regarded as having a more generalized dental morphology and having a longer ancestry than its offspring, cynodonti. Languages Austronesian languages have been spoken in the Philippines for thousands of years. According to a 2014 study by Mark Donahue of the Australian National University and Tim Denham of Monash University, there is no linguistic evidence for an orderly north-to-south dispersal of the Austronesian languages from Taiwan through the Philippines and into island Southeast Asia ISEA. Many adopted words from Sanskrit were incorporated during the strong wave of Indian Hindu -Buddhist cultural influence starting from the 5th century BC, in common with its Southeast Asian neighbors. Starting in the second half of the 16th century, Spanish was the official language of the country for the more than three centuries that the islands were governed through Mexico City on behalf of the Spanish Empire. In the 19th and early 20th centuries, Spanish was the preferred language among illustrados and educated Filipinos in general. Significant agreements exist, however, on the extent Spanish use beyond that. It has been argued that the Philippines were less Hispanized than Canaries and America, with Spanish only being adopted by the ruling class involved in civil and judicial administration and culture. Spanish was the language of only approximately 10% of the Philippine population when Spanish rule ended in 1898. As a lingua franca or creole language of Filipinos, major languages of the country like Chavacano, Cebuano, Tagalog, Kapampangan, Pangasinan, Baikalano, Hiligaynon, and Ilocano assimilated many different words and expressions from Castilian Spanish. Chavacano is the only Spanish-based creole language in Asia. Its vocabulary is 90% Spanish, and the remaining 10% is a mixture of predominantly Portuguese, Nahuatl, Mexican Indian, Hiligaynon, and some English. Chavacano is considered by the Instituto Cervantes to be a Spanish-based language. In sharp contrast, another view is that the ratio of the population which spoke Spanish as their mother tongue in the last decade of Spanish rule was 10% or 14%. An additional 60% is said to have spoken Spanish as a second language until World War II, but this is also disputed as to whether this percentage spoke kitchen Spanish, which was used as marketplace lingua compared to those who were actual fluent Spanish speakers. In 1863, a Spanish decree introduced universal education, creating free public schooling in Spanish, yet it was never implemented, even before the advent of American annexation. It was also the language of the Philippine Revolution, and the 1899 Malolos Constitution proclaimed it as the official language of the First Philippine Republic, albeit a temporary official language. Spanish continued to be the predominant lingua franca used in the islands by the elite class before and during the American colonial regime. Following the American occupation of the Philippines and the imposition of English, the overall use of Spanish declined gradually, especially after the 1940s.
According to Ethnologue, there are about 180 languages spoken in the Philippines. The 1987 Constitution of the Philippines imposed the Filipino language, as the national language and designates it, along with English, as one of the official languages. Regional languages are designated as auxiliary official languages. The Constitution also provides that Spanish and Arabic shall be promoted on a voluntary and optional basis. Other Philippine languages in the country with at least one million native and indigenous speakers include Cebuano, Ilocano, Hiligaynon, Waray, Central Bacol, Kapampangan, Pangasinan, Chavacano, Spanish based Creole, Albay Bacol, Maranao, Maguindano, Kinaray 8 Tausug, Suriganan, Maspateno, Aklanon, and Ibanag. The 28-letter Modern Filipino Alphabet, adopted in 1987, is the official writing system. Also, language of each ethnicity has also their own writing scripts, which are no longer used in set of alphabets. Religion As of 2010, over 90% of the population were Christians, with over 80% professing Roman Catholicism. The latter was introduced by the Spanish beginning in 1565, and during their 300-year colonization of the islands, they managed to convert a vast majority of Filipinos, resulting in the Philippines becoming the largest Catholic country in Asia. There are also large groups of Protestant denominations, which either grew or were founded following the disestablishment of the Catholic Church during the American colonial period. The Iglesia Ni Cristo is currently the single largest indigenous church followed by United Church of Christ in the Philippines. The Iglesia Filipina Independiente, also known as the Aglipayan Church, was an earlier development, and is a national church directly resulting from the 1898 Philippine Revolution. Other Christian groups such as the Victory Church, Jesus Miracle Crusade, Mormonism, Orthodoxy, and the Jehovah's Witnesses have a visible presence in the country. Other native inhabitants follow Islam, forming a large minority. Islam in the Philippines is mostly concentrated in southwestern Mindanao and the Sulu Archipelago which, though part of the Philippines, are very close to the neighboring Islamic countries of Malaysia and Indonesia. The Muslims call themselves Moros, a Spanish word that refers to the Moors, albeit the two groups have little cultural connection other than Islam. Historically, ancient Filipinos held animistic beliefs that were influenced by Hinduism and Buddhism, which were brought by traders from neighboring Asian states. Indigenous groups like the Aeta are animists, while Igorot and Lumad tribes still observe traditional religious practices, often alongside Christianity or Islam. As of 2013, religious groups together constituting less than 5% of the population included Sikhism, Hinduism, Buddhism, Seventh-day Adventists, United Church of Christ, United Methodists, the Episcopal Church in the Philippines, Assemblies of God, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, Mormons, and Philippine, Southern, Baptists, and the following domestically established churches, Iglesia Ni Cristo, Church of Christ, Philippine Independent Church, Aglipayan, Members Church of God International, and the Kingdom of Jesus Christ, the name above every name. In addition, there are Lumad, who are indigenous peoples of various animistic and syncretic religions. Diaspora There are currently more than 10 million Filipinos who live overseas. Filipinos form a minority ethnic group in the Americas, Europe, Oceania, the Middle East, and other regions in the world. There are an estimated 3.4 million Americans of Filipino ancestry in the United States, and more than 300,000 American citizens in the Philippines. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, immigrants from the Philippines made up the second largest group after Mexico that sought family reunification. Filipinos make up over a third of the entire population of the Northern Marianas Islands, an American territory in the North Pacific Ocean, and a large proportion of the populations of Guam, Palau, the British Indian Ocean Territory, and Saba. See also references Penny, Ralph, Penny, Ralph John, 2002. A History of the Spanish Language, 22nd ed. Cambridge University Press. ISBN 978-0-521-01184-6. Publications Peter Bellwood, July 1991. The Austronesian Dispersal and the Origin of Languages. Scientific American. 265 188-93. DOI 10.1038, Scientific American 079188. Bellwood, Peter, Fox, James, and Tryon, Darrell, 1995. The Austronesians, Historical and Comparative Perspectives. Department of Anthropology, Australian National University. 
ISBN 0-7315-2132-3, CS1 maint, multiple names, authors list, link, Peter Bellwood, 1998. Taiwan and the Prehistory of the Austronesian-Speaking Peoples. Review of Archaeology, 1839-48. Peter Bellwood, Alicia Sanchez Mazes, June 2005. Human Migrations in Continental East Asia and Taiwan, Genetic, Linguistic, and Archaeological Evidence. Current Anthropology. 46-3, 480 480-485. 10.1086, 430,018. David Blundell. Austronesian Dispersal. Newsletter of Chinese Ethnology. 35-1-26. Robert Blust, 1985. The Austronesian Homeland, A Linguistic Perspective. Asian Perspectives, 2046-67. Peter Fuller, 2002. Asia-Pacific Research. Reading the Full Picture. Canberra, Australia, Research School of Pacific and Asian Studies. Retrieved 28 July 2005. Homepage of linguist Dr. Lawrence Reed. Retrieved 28 July 2005. Malcolm Ross and Andrew Polly, 1993. Austronesian Historical Linguistics and Culture History. Annual Review of Anthropology, 22-425-459. doi, 10.1146, anarev.an.22.1001193.002233. Frederick H. Sawyer, 1900. The Inhabitants of the Philippines. Library of Alexandria. ISBN 978-1-4655-1185-0. Scott, William Henry, 1984. Pre-Hispanic Source Materials for the Study of Philippine History. New Day Publishers. ISBN 978-971-10-0227-5. Retrieved 5 August 2008. ISBN 978-971-10-0226-8. John Edward Terrell, December 2004. Introduction, Austronesia, and the Great Austronesian Migration. World Archaeology. 36-4, 586 to 591. DOI 10.1080-00438240040003764. Zaid, Sonia M. 1999-1994. The Philippines, a Unique Nation. All Nations Publishing. ISBN 971-642-071-4. External links Media related to people of the Philippines at Wikimedia Commons